Hello, Mr. Gazinski here. In section O of IXL's eighth grade math, we're gonna name angle pairs that are formed um, by transversals of parallel lines in this video. Most of these angle pairs we've talked about in the previous couple skills. Uh, there is one new one though, so let's get into it. First off, we're gonna talk about vertical angles. Vertical angles, they're formed by two intersecting lines. Uh, they're congruent to each other and they're opposite of each other. So KJH is in every single one of these pairs. Let's find that, here's KJH. The one that is parallel to that, or I'm sorry, vertical to that would be this one right here, IJM. So KJH and IJM, so a pair of Intersecting lines, OH and IK, um, they're opposite pairs, okay? So there's more vertical pairs here too, like IJH and KJM. And we also have LMJ, two, three, and OMN. Those are vertical pairs. And of course, LMO, one, two, three, four, and N. M, J. So all of those are vertical pairs, but we only needed that one, KJH and IJM. Next up, corresponding angles. This is the new one. All right, so I see a few here. Um, P-O-L and M-L-O. P-O-L and M-L-O. M-L-O. No, those are same side interior, we would call those. Same side interior. All right, so what about um, NOL and NOQ? NOL, that's this one, and NOQ, uh, that's this one right here. No, sir. Those are adjacent angles, supplementary angles, because they add up to 180. Nope, not going to work for what we're looking for. Next, what about NOL and KLJ? NOL. And KLJ, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Uh, those are corresponding. Let me describe to you what corresponding are. So we've got this angle right here. And if we just slide it up the transversal, it matches KLJ perfectly. Okay, so those are corresponding angles. If they can be formed, uh, matched up maybe by a translation. Corresponding angles, okay. Uh, so there's other pairs of corresponding angles too, like uh, this one and this one. Those are corresponding. How about QOP and MLO? And there's one more set of corresponding angles. Those would be one, two, three, four, that one, and this one. All right, moving on. What about adjacent angles? Looking for adjacent angles here. Let's go through them. STV and UTQ. STV, that's this one. And UTQ, UTQ, uh, that's this one. Those are vertical angles. They share a vertex, but they don't share uh, an adjacent side. UTV and RQO, UTV and RQO. Well, you know what, they, I mean, that's the vertex right there, and they don't share a vertex. Um, RQO, that'd be this one. Nope, those are same side exterior angles. It's not going to work for us. So moving on, STQ and RQT, again, they don't share a similar vertex. Um, STQ, where are you? STQ and RQT. Those are um, alternate interior angles, so that's not gonna work for us. Uh, these do share a vertex, and they share a side, QO and QO. Let's see it, RQO, which is this one, and PQO, which is this one. Yeah, see they share this side, and they share a vertex. I, I really should use a second mark there. They're not congruent to each other. They actually add up to 180 degrees in this situation. So they're supplementary. Next up, looking for supplementary angles. Okay, we just saw some. This is select all that apply. GHE, where are you? GHE, that's this one. 
and GHJ, GHJ, that's this one, okay? Yeah, they form a straight line, so they're supplementary. They add up to 180 degrees. Let's look for another pair. Um, how about IHJ, IHJ, that would be this one. And GHJ, GHJ, yeah, for sure. This one right here, those form a straight line, so they're going to add up to 180 degrees. DEC, where are you, DEC? That's this one. And DEH, DEH, oh yeah, for sure. Okay, I'm kind of making this more complicated than I really need to with all those lines because um, I really could use, when they say DEC, I know that's congruent to this one here. So I could just do one mark. And then they're saying DEH is this one, and that's congruent to GHJ. So I could just use two marks. But yeah, those add up to 180 degrees. So those are supplementary. What about GHE? GH E, where are you? Yeah, this one right here, along with I H E, I H E, and and that's this one right here. And those, yeah, look at these. All of these are supplementary. They all add up to 180 degrees. They form straight lines with each other. Now we're looking for alternate exterior angles. We did this in our in my last video. So exterior means they fall on opposite sides of the um, or outside the parallel lines, that's the exterior means. Alternate means other sides of the transversal, opposite sides of the transversal. HIF, where are you? HIF. Well, that's inside the parallel line, so nope. Uh, JIK, JIK, that's exterior. What about EFD? EFD, that's also exterior and on opposite sides of the transversal, so yep, that one works. How about HIF? H I F. Nope, see that's an interior angle, so we can rule that one out. What about H I K? That's exterior. And G F D, that's alternate exterior. One's above the transversal, one's below. They're both outside of the parallel lines. So, yep, those are alternate exterior. And of course, we'll finish with alternate interior. Alternate interior angles. Here we go. LMJ, LMJ, that's an interior angle. It's inside the parallel line. KJM, KJM, yep, that one's congruent to it and also inside the parallel lines, okay? One's to the left of the transversal, one's to the right, so it's the alternate part of it. LMO, well, that's exterior, so I'm not going to bother with that one. KJM, KJM, yeah, we got that one already. NMJ, NM. J, no, because that's a same side interior, so no. NMJ, that is interior. What about IJH? IJH, that's uh, exterior, so no. Not that one either. There is one other pair on there. That would be NM. J along with I, J, L. That would be alternate interior as well, but that one's not listed. So, all right. So transversal parallel lines, we named the angles pairs. We introduced corresponding angles for you. We did alternate interior, alternate exterior. We did vertical angles, supplementary angles, um, all the like. All right, a lot of information there. Good luck to you.